ready to get this one underway as the teams are lined up for the opening kick. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 32. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Ready? Move 45. Uh -huh. Little handoff. Tackle at the 30-yard line. Really good play here and run support by the linebacker. The big guys up front took away the running lanes, and he was able to get through for a loss. Second down and 12. Ball on the 30. He's taken down right around the 32-yard line. The running back gets two on the carry. Third down. Throws it in a hurry. And he's finally knocked out of bounds at the 42-yard line. This quarterback doesn't seem to be having any trouble with the zone, does he? He recognized the receiver was behind the coverage, and he found him with a perfect strike. That's nice passing for a first down. Looking for the corner. Very good tackle in space. That's good for him. And down he goes at the 31-yard line. The defense snuffed out the option play pretty well there. Yeah, but they didn't do it quickly enough. The quarterback decided to keep this one himself, and the hole was just big enough that he was able to get the first down. He's got it out to his tight end. Brought down around the 19-yard line. Well, you know this defense is going to come after you. There's no doubt about that. And as an offense, you have to be prepared for that. And that play, they made them pay for blitzing. They hand it off. Tackled after a decent pickup. That brings him second and five. Here's the eighth play of the series. Up the middle for a nice game. There he goes. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. Joseph moves and he's in. That is great tough football right there. Getting down to the goal line and just punching it in. And he adds the extra point. A 10-play, 69-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. And Brad, right now, the offensive line just winning the battle in the trenches, opening up some big running room. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And they can forget about returning this one. Virginia's a team and a program that year in, year out, has got 1,000-yard rushers. Sometimes they've got two, and they've got that huge offensive line, and, you know, you get too worried about them, and sometimes you can overlook the fact that you throw them. It's going to be tough today for this defense. I think they're going to have to take some chances and load this line of scrimmage. And, you know, as a play caller for this offense, when you have such a gifted running back, it opens up every aspect of the offense. I mean, the play action pass with this running game, you get those linebackers and safeties coming up close to the line of scrimmage. It's a great time to really open up and show what you can do as a complete offense. It'll be a challenge. From their own 27 yard line, it's second down. Throws in the middle. They'll bring him down to the 38-yard line. That's a gain of 11 on the play. First down. Four down, four down. Mike 12, Mike 12. Down. Green 8. They go to the run, and he's tackled in the backfield for a loss. Call 
loss of one yard on the play. That'll bring up second and 11. It's second and 11. Ball on their own 37. defense to bring up fourth down. Yeah, instead of going for the interception, they did the same thing, and that was just to tip it away. He's tackled at the 31. Six points and a pretty display of passing was a result of their last drive. Kirk, do you expect the defense to take a different approach here? When this quarterback is on, he is on. It already seems like whatever this defense is trying just isn't working. But maybe if they add just a little bit more pressure, then they might be able to force him into a mistake. Clemson is up seven. The defender was in the right position to make the play. From the 50, third down. He throws. Hey, this guy's got to forget about the drop. Remember, he was in good position to make a play. That'll bring up fourth and five. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Tigers really took care of business on defense that first time out, Perfect. One of the great traditions of college football is this defense and the way they play with such passion and enthusiasm in this environment. We're seeing that again today. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. And he's taken down at the 19. their own 19-yard line. Second down. Boy, was he drilled as he let go of that football. Yeah, he's going to feel that one tomorrow. He tackles him for a loss. That's a loss of four yards on the play. That brings us fourth and 15. These special teams have done it before, blocking punts. It looks like they're coming after this one. Seven yard line. You know they'd like to do something a little more than they did on their last drive when they had to punt the ball away. Clemson up seven points. Get to that quicker. And they make the stop at the 42. tight, low-scoring game in that first 15 minutes. Let's see if things open up in the second quarter. 7-0, Tiger. 
And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. And they get nice yardage on that run. Play fake, looking to run. to 21. Setting up play action. And he hits him hard at the 32-yard line. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. Clemson is up a score. Zips it to the back. They'll knock him down for a loss. No gain on the play. That'll bring up third and long. He throws it, and he shoved out of bounds right around the 20. Wow, a long game, but still not enough for the first. Well, the offense hurt themselves by digging themselves into a hole on first and second down, so the defense didn't really have to put too much thought in how to defend on that third down. Kicks away, and it's through the uprights. They line up to kick this one away. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Zips it to the tight end. He's tackled around the 34-yard line. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Yard line. First down. Tackle made at the 39. A one yard gain by the halfback. That brings up second and nine. And here's another third down. That's a great tackle at the 46. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. I give the defense credit, but right now I think it's more a case of sloppy offense. Yeah, you got to recognize that both defenses have come into this game with the right mindset. They're very well prepared. 
But I'm with you. It's, it's one thing to have great defense. It's another thing when those defenses are going up against offenses that just are not clicking right now and hitting on all cylinders. Look at a scramble down. He can't get away from the pressure. The defenders played the snap count perfectly. They found the path into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away. Around the 24-yard line. Not a bad little play there. Yeah, this is a nice job by the quarterback reading the coverage and delivering a very catchable ball and allowing his receiver to come up with a nice game. Throws complete. He's got space to work. He's knocked out of bounds at the 35-yard line. The defense might need to make some changes to their coverage scheme because that was just too easy. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 35-yard line. Quick pass, and he's tackled right away. He zips it. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. From their own 47-yard line, second down. On play action, under heavy pressure. And he tackles him hard at the 44-yard line. That's a deep Gets to about the 41-yard line. there because his receiver was wide open. There was no need to rush that one at all. This is the 10th play of this drive. He's got his man across the middle. The ball is loose, and the offense will recover. Close one there. Maybe the ball carrier will try a little harder to secure the ball next time. First and 10. Ball on the 20-yard line. Great run here, and he's got nowhere to go. Deep ball, laying it out there. He's got a touchdown. He splits the uprights with the extra point. It was a 12-play, 80-yard drive, and the result, seven points. Looks like they're ready for the kick. From his own goal line, he lost the ball. They fall on it, and down he goes at the 19-yard line. Virginia's coaching staff, I've got a thing going into halftime, and we're getting close right now, Kirk. They've got to do something different. What they had planned with their star running backs is not working today. Well, I think the continuity between a coaching staff and a quarterback and an offense is tested. Uh, their, their star players not having a great game, losing this football game. I think now as we're close to this half, now is when you start to think about what other ways can we attack this defense. And then maybe eventually we get back to our star running back. But in the meantime, let's try to find some other ways to attack to be able to put points up. First down, 10 to go. Ball on 34. It's on the ground. Picks up the loose ball. And he's stopped behind the line. They nearly gave that ball away. But luckily, that guy was paying attention to what was going on and was able to recover the football.
So the question here is whether or not his knee hit the ground before the ball came out. And the booth is going to take a few looks at this to see whether or not the ball came out before he was down. So the booth and the referee agree. The runner's knee was down. That was still a close call, though, Brad. Even though he was down, this guy has to do a better job of holding that football. Brought down at the 35. That'll make it From their own 35-yard line, it's third down. So at the end of the half, Clemson leads it. 17 nothing. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Maybe the most important statistic from the first half, no turnovers for either team. So far, a good job of ball security, but now you wonder if the quarterbacks can avoid putting the ball in jeopardy. They're going to want to make a big play, and that might sort of set off a feeding frenzy on the defensive side. Yeah, and it's in, in defenses, that's the number one priority. I mean, you can give up a lot of yards. You could, They can chew up yards up and down the field, but if you can force turnovers, then you're keeping them off the scoreboard, and, and that's your number one goal. So I, defenses, they, they have to be a little bit upset right now, and they got to try to find ways to to hit harder. How about when you're tackling? Use the strip stick, you know, be able to strip the ball out, get the ball out, try to get some interceptions, try to make some user picks, you know, do whatever you can to try to get the football back from that offense and set your offense up in good field position. David and I will stay locked in on everything going on in college football. We're going to wrap it up here in the studio. Just about time to get you out to your second half. Brad and Kirk ready with a call. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Clemson's a type of team, when you look at them, it looks like their defense sort of just feeds off itself. I think the energy is there, Brad, but I think it really starts up front with their defensive line and their linebackers, the way they're being able to just win the battle at the line of scrimmage. I think it's giving them confidence, and it's allowing them to play more downhill when they can attack this offense. The defense was able to get really good penetration and drop him short of the line of scrimmage. From their own 23-yard line, second down. Throws it out right to the running back. He's taken down at the 30-yard line. That's, That's a game of seven, seven on the play. play. That'll, That'll make, make it 35. Watch the run! Watch the run! Watch the run! Mike 12! Mike 12! Got a man, watch out here. He's to the 40. He goes out of bounds around the 45-yard line. He is such a reliable target. You throw it anywhere near him, and this guy's going to get his hands on it and make a catch. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 45. Four down, four down. Check back 12. Check back 12, back 12. They run left and he'll lose yardage. to fit it in there and it'll be intercepted. They'll bring him down around the 35-yard line. Great job of reacting so quickly to the throw and hanging on for the pick. From the 35-yard line, it's first down.
caught with room to work. He's at the 20, and they push him out at the 16. corner and down he goes at the seventh. The defense doesn't seem to have an answer right now. They might need to change up some of their schemes. He's taken down at the one. Call it a game of three yards. That brings him second and goal. Touchdown, Tigers. It takes a lot of strength to run it when you're heading into a massive pile of bodies. Good job of holding on to it and getting it across the goal line. And he adds the extra point. A five-play, 35-yard drive. And they come away with a touchdown. Boy, this offense right now is just being physical, really controlling the line of scrimmage, and it's opening up some nice big lanes for the running backs. He just drills this one. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. No matter how much people want to talk about points and offense, I still think that the best offense is a great defense. When you put a zero up there, it makes it pretty easy on your own offense to go out there and win the game. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Catches it, and that's all. A seven-yard play. Hey, they picked up a nice gain of seven yards on that play. Great pass. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. He's scrambling. He's wrapped up for the sack. And he was able to pick up some nice yards on the return. I'm sure that touchdown and their last possessions given them some confidence, but let's see if that carries them back down the field. Well, I think this defense has got to do something because right now the quarterback is in such a good rhythm that you've got to do something to try to get him out of it. I would suggest trying to bring more pressure. Try to come up with an exotic blitz look to try to get him on his heels as opposed to being the aggressor and attacking the defense. It's second and ten. Ball on their own 48. Motion, motion. Yeah, the 87. Motion. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. Loss of eight yards on the play. That'll bring up third and long. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 42. And they get the sack. Oh, that is a big hit on the quarterback. That's one of those as an offensive lineman, when the film study starts to come around, you're going to kind of sink in your chair and just hope they don't call you out because you're going to get embarrassed on Monday on that one.
It's away, and it's a booming punt. And he's tackled at the 25-yard line. You wonder what kind of impact the special team's play will have on the series that comes after a play like that. This could be big for the defense. You knew that return was doomed as soon as he put his hands on the ball. With the field as messy as it is, he wasn't going anywhere. Quick throw out to the receiver. Very good tackle in space. From their own 39-yard line, first down. There's a strike complete, and he's shoved out of bounds around the 43-yard line. I like that they're completing these underneath routes because pretty soon the defense is going to start to cheat up, and that's when the quarterback will have his chance to go over the top for the big play. Second and six. Ball on their own 43. Caught open field. That reception good for around four yards. You don't have to throw it deep to have success. Any sort of completion can help boost an offense's confidence. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. Four down, four down. Mike 12. Mike 12. Down. Two, seven. Motion, motion, motion. And he's tackled around the 49-yard line. Number seven brings him down to the 49-yard line. Come on, come on. First down. Mike 12. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. Makes the catch and look out. He's pushed out of bounds at the 37-yard line. That's a game of 12 on the play. From the 37 yard line. Makes it first down. Check Mike 12. Mike 12. Mike 12. Caught and a big hit. He stopped in his tracks. One more quarter to play. This one appears to be well under control. 24 to nothing. Tiger. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Now he's scrambling. Room around the corner. He's taken off. He's at the 20, and he's tackled in the open field. First down. And this play is number eight on the drive. Four down, four down. Mike 12, Mike 12. On the ground, left side. Tackle made around the 15-yard line. Just nowhere for the ball carrier to go as the linebacker met him in the backfield. Boy, what great play recognition by this linebacker. He saw the run was coming, and he just shot through the gap and made a great tackle. Second and 13. Ball on the 15-yard line. Catches it, and he's looking for more. He ran a good-looking route and picked up positive yardage. That he did, and he made a good catch. That short passing game is where you see all those hours in the summer that you put in pay off. And this is the 10th play of the drive. Four down, four down. Mike 12. Mike 12. And he hits him hard at the 17. Fourth and long here after the sack. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Fires quickly, and they got it. Touchdown. The wide out here truly knows what he has to do to contribute to make his team successful. So they go to the air on fourth down when they needed a big play, and boy, do they come through. And the quarterback stays on the field as they try for the two-point conversion. They'll line up with five wide receivers. And it's caught for two. He 
He's taken down at the 45-yard line. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Gets rid of it quickly, and that was almost picked. As a defender, you want to keep your hands up. Maybe you can come away with a pick or at least deflect the ball. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 45. That's a game of two on the play. That'll bring up third and eight. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. Let's see if the momentum from that defensive stand carries over to their offense. That makes it fourth and eight. He'll try to knock this punt down inside the 20. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. The offense now will take the field, and they hope to have the same success they had on their last drive. Quick shot to the open receiver, and he can't hang on to the ball. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 20-yard line. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. And they make the stop at the 38-yard line. First down. Third and 10. And he tackles him hard at the 35-yard line. That was a loss of three yards. That makes it second and 14. Looking to dig themselves out of a little hole here after the sack. It's second and 14. Less than three minutes in the game. What impresses me so much is the guy's vision. He read the coverage perfectly to find his man for good yardage. for a back's confidence to get tackled for a loss. But this guy knows that he's got to just keep at it and the holes will start to open up. It's fourth down and they're going to try to go for it. Fires quickly to the tight end. That makes it first and ten. Throws complete and he's hit right away. Number 24 makes the tackle at the 41 yard line. Here's the eighth play of the series. Watch two. Let's go, defense. Let's go, defense. Quick strike and he drops it. These guys, especially in the secondary, really get after it and can make life hard for the play callers on the other side of the ball. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 35. Mike 12. Pulls it in and stopped in his tracks with that tackle. He's got him, but he's short of the first down. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Just under two minutes in the game. Brought 
down around the 47 yard line. That's not everyday speed you're talking about with this guy. This is a unique burst combined with a really impressive field vision. From their own 47 yard line. It's first down. He's tackled at about the 45. Virginia is going to have to use their second time out of the half. It's a fumble. It's recovered. The running back won't be happy that he lost the ball. He's got to forget about it and get ready for the next series. His offense is going to need him again. The guys are chomping at the bit down there, waiting for the game to start back up. Finds his man. First down. He's taken down at the 38. Number 37 on the tackle at the 38 yard line. First down. And he's hit immediately. How about that play? That's a good pickup there. He just dropped back and delivered a nice throw. That makes it six. Spikes the ball. Spikes the ball. Third down. Third down, and they need to get it to the 28. Throws complete. Big loss. A four-yard loss. So that play was sort of out of sync from the start, but you have to also recognize that the defense made a great play. They read it from the get-go. Under a minute left. He is drilled at the 14-yard line. Caught a big hit there to stop it. That makes it second and eight. And he stops the clock with a spike. Third down, eight yards to go. Ball on the 12-yard line. They'll bring him down at the three. That makes it first and goal. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. The spike will stop the clock. Well, it's third and goal, and they're 10 yards out. He's got a touchdown. They saw something upstairs. It led to a touchdown. You can thank the play calling there. Very impressive. So the kicker's going to stay on the sidelines. These guys will try for a two-point conversion. He's in trouble. They don't get it. An 11 play, 50 yard drive, but they just get six points after failing to convert for two. Brad, I love these kind of drives. They're old school, grind it out and earn the yards and just rip the heart right out of that defense. The score now, 24 14. Too easy, too easy. The offense comes out of the field and they're hoping to avoid the similar fate that killed their last drive. The defense, I'm sure, will be aggressive again. They love going for the strip and attacking the football.
And this one comes to an end. Our final count in this game, 24-14, Clemson. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.